Hi Libra, what's going on? Hope all is well. We are about to hop into your reading and see what's happening with you and the person on your mind this week or whenever you click on this reading, whenever it finds you. Um, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if the reading helps, if it resonates with you and stay tuned. Keep watching. If the reading does make sense, I'll start getting into part two, which is where I see this energy going. Coming up next, I'll start getting into that and pull the cards for that at the end of this reading. That part of the reading is on Vimeo. The link is in the description, top of the comments for that part. For right now, let's take a look at the cards and then come back. I'll give you my interpretation of what I see happening, okay? Okay, Libra. So <clears throat> the energy for the connection is coming up as, as, as the hangman with Rhodonite. And hangman tells me that there is like this sort of pause in this relationship or a connection okay you could be with who this is committed um uh this could be a family member okay because we have the ten of cups queen of cups um so there's this sense of like detachment between you two all right, that I'm getting with this hangman. And I'm getting you, Libra, possibly feeling like you're in this weird space. You're in this like place of limbo with this person, okay? Um, things could be awkward, okay? I'm getting with the hangman. Things could be awkward. what usually happens with you and this person is not going on right now. There's like this feeling of, um, things are different right now. Okay. Libra, both you and your person may be taking space or feeling like you need some space. Okay. This is, um, hangman is Pisces. which is interesting. Okay, hold on. I'll tell because I'm getting something from your person's perspective and yours. Okay. Both of you may be feeling like you're needing to sacrifice or like you're sacrificing a part of yourself. Okay. Um, in this connection, sorry, that's bothering me. It changes the lighting. Okay. So I'm getting that. All right. Okay. But it's also, um, it's Aquarius. So that's why I'm getting like, there's this sense of detachment and you and your person, I think are looking at things 
from different perspectives or you're both taking a look. I'm actually getting your like uh, justice. I'm actually getting justice with this. Okay. Like this, um, like you and who this is are wanting to be fair and there there's this moment is happening for a reason libra i'm hearing to like for rebalance okay like rebalancing things in the connection um and that goes right along with rhodonite okay what rhodonite talks about is um Uh, if you're feeling too enmeshed with someone and wondering where you end and where that person begins, spend a little time connecting with Rhodonite spirit to reestablish healthy yet fluid boundaries. Okay. Which wait till, <laughs> wait till I know you saw the queen of cups, but very interesting, healthy yet fluid boundaries that allow a balance. I didn't even read that before I said I'm getting like balance here. Um, that allow a balance between you and the people you care about. When you are generous yet aware of your worth, giving with a healthy sense of self, you attract those who respond in kind. Okay. So I'm also getting something. Yes. Like that sacrificing. It's like this. I don't know, Libra, it's going to resonate for, I get like your person feeling like they're needing to make some sort of sacrifice and maybe you do too. Okay, Libra. <coughs> I get it. I get that more from your person's end because they show up with, you definitely could be dealing with a water sign or this person has a strong water placement, cancer. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. And, um, I got Pisces very, very strongly. She has like the fish on her neck. Okay. And yeah. So getting Pisces. All right. Could be a moon. I'm getting a lot of moon energy. Okay. So very feminine, whoever this is, this queen of cups, it doesn't matter. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. Um, there, this person is, if you look with Rhodonite, when it said establishing healthy yet fluid boundaries, that's what she looks like she's doing. Okay. I feel like your person is trying to calm themselves. Um, and that could be the case, Libra. Maybe this person was feeling very enmeshed when it comes to the connection with you. All right. Very this person could have been very overly emotional about something here and they're needing like to kind of take a step back and balance themselves. You know, this person maybe felt like they were losing themselves or a sense of self. Okay. But I see them getting back into a, a good place. Queen of cups is good. It's someone who is, this person's very emotionally in tune with how they feel. Okay. And they know when they need to take a step back. All right. And establish those boundaries. See how she has her hands up? Like, wait a minute. I need to, I need to meditate. I need to do a, a sound bath. Okay. So they're in the process maybe of even like doing healing rituals, things like that. Libra, uh, we just had a full moon. This person could, you know, be taking their full moon baths, things like that. I got Scorpio with that. And something about this moon in Scorpio changed things. Okay. 
I feel like for your person, Libra, what I'm getting with them and, you know, take this if it resonates, if it doesn't, the full moon in Scorpio, I think showed your person that at the end of the day, they need to take care of themselves. They need to love themselves, nurture themselves. Okay. Sometimes we get so lost in a connection or a partnership and it can start becoming like codependent. Okay. I'm just using this for an example. So it's like maybe the full moon in Scorpio showed your person something, showed you something. Okay. Um, that full moon in Scorpio was gnarly. Okay. So, and then combined with the Mercury retrograde, like it off the hook, right? So lots of Mars energy. So wouldn't be surprising to me if there were like blow ups and things like that. So I think that with your person, maybe they realized or were recognizing some sort of unhealthy pattern that they tend to, they can tend to become codependent on, you know, a partner or looking to their, uh, whoever they're involved with, you know, romantically, if this is romantic, this person may have said to themselves, I need to come back, come back to me. All right. I can't count on someone else to make me happy. I can't count on someone that right. The person that you can count on at the end of the day is you. And I feel like that's what, you know, I see with, uh, who this is. Um, so they show up with the fish too, which is, um, Wow. Wait a minute. I didn't even, I was about to get to this card. I need to start showing these cards at first. Your person, I just realized when I look into your eyes, the whole world, the whole world stops and I forget where I am. So again, that's kind of like a lost type of feeling. And I feel like your person was maybe getting a feeling like they were getting lost in this with you. Okay. They were losing themselves sacrifice. This person may have felt like I'm losing myself in this connection. Okay. I'm not saying that it's true, Libra. I'm just telling you what I get with who this is. All right. And some of you may say this person has gone really quiet. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. And, um, when I look into your eyes, the whole world stops and I forget where I am. And the fish is ta it talks about being lost in the current. Okay. It has a very roaming. I just heard like, I'm trying to find my place. Like I'm trying to get my footing. I'm trying to figure out, you know, okay, hold on. That was a part of what was going on, Libra. It's like this person they still don't understand because whoever this is, they have very strong feelings for you with the queen of cups. They have very, um, hold on. That's why they're in this position where they're like, I need to like chill out. Okay. Because Um, I don't know. They can get very caught up. They can get very caught up. Um, and they, I, I feel like they still, there's still this sense of them feeling like lost about how they feel in the connection with you, Libra, how they feel about what's going on. Okay. This person could also be, um, the fish is a, it's like a roaming type of energy. Okay. 
I, I get like a tired. I do get a very like a tired so type of energy. Um, yeah. Restlessness, change of focus. Remember I said I think they're shifting their focus back to them. Lost in the current. Okay. When imbalanced, they're adaptable and travels well. When out of balance, they're distracted and they change their mind often. Okay. Um, it says the roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually it leads to weariness and slippery relationships. Okay. With all the possibilities out there in the vast waters, the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with the lunar forces, dear fish, as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. That's what I'm saying. I feel like your person's doing some, um, some moon magic. You know, they're, they're using the, you know, they're nurturing themselves. They're taking care of themselves. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. So if they're very quiet, they're just... I don't know, Libra, a number of you could say you feel this person slipping away, okay? And I don't think that's the case. I think what's going on here is, for a number of you, this person would say, I've lost myself. I've lost, um, I've lost myself and I just, I need to get back to me, okay? Maybe because, you know, when you look in their eyes, their whole world stops, and, you know, sometimes a relationship is like that. This person becomes your world. You know, you are their whole world. And, um, but then they look at themselves and they're like, well, where do I stand? What, you know, um, now you show up as the nightingale, which is air. Okay. So definitely your energy, Libra. Um, a number of you, you're like saying little things to this person. You could be sending, you know, uh, little, you know, loving messages. A nightingale is, to me, it's like a poet. Okay. So you could be sending, you know, things that are like poems. Okay. Maybe songs, you know, you could be sending this person some sort of song, letting them know that you're thinking about them. Um, because you show up as the 10 of cups with, I can feel all the love you're sending me and it's electrifying. Okay. So I feel like, um, A lot of you would tell me that whoever this is, like you see your happiness with this person. Okay. Um, and a number of you know, like this person does love you a lot. Okay. They love you a lot. Um, Cause like I said, they show up with this queen of cups energy. It's just, they're, there's this little bit of a, you know, I've explained it all, right? This person's like, hold on a second. I need a moment. And that's the delay. That's the pause that I'm getting. All right. Um, Nightingale too is like a very, this is someone who has their own unique voice. Okay something to share with the world. It's really beautiful. And, um, I can read Nightingale for you because this is how you show up. Fearless voice, speech, communication, or song. Okay. Um, when in balance sings, speaks freely with kindness. Okay. So I do get that for a number of you. It says the night, the song of the nightingale is otherworldly. So I definitely get, you know, um, I got Gemini with that. So some of you may have Gemini in your chart. 
um, the simple brown bird almost unnoticeable among the flashy plumage of the other birds transports its listeners to the realm of poetry. Nightingale energy is with us when we write, compose, and especially when we sing. It reminds us that music heals the deepest wounds. This card indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice. Is there something you need to say? Oh, Libra. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot you want to say to this person, but you're just saying little things here and there, you know? Is there something you need to say? How long has it been since you sang? Turn it up, write it down, and let it out. I feel like you're also like telling your person, you're like, is there something you need to say? You know, then say it. You could be being very shy or it says lump in the throat. So it's, um, you know, I'm getting like throat chakra blockages. Okay. So some of you may need to do some uh, meditating. Okay. Hmm. Energy is with us when we write, compose, especially when we sing it. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel like for a number of you, again, this is, I'm just getting like, this is a moment. I know my readings tend to maybe be a little deeper than they need to be sometimes, but that's just me. So that's how the reading is going to flow. But, um, I do think that for a number of you, you love who this is. Okay. You love their energy and, um, you know, but again, there's this pause. Like I said, I think you envision, imagine, you know, a, a, um, picture perfect relationship with who this is. It's like this person does complete your picture. Okay. But, um, they're just taking a moment. You're queen of cups. So you would probably be the king of cups, Libra. They're just taking a moment to remember who they are. Okay. And after this, what I will tell you is there is going to be a change. All right. There will be a change in this connection because after the hangman comes death and then we have judgment. Okay. So change happens. Okay. So what I am seeing also with the hangman is that there are sacrifices that have to be made for this connection to work. Again, this could be family, friendship, um, romantic, I don't know, but it does look like what's being shown to you and this person um, is that um, we have to look at things, you know, things are looking different right now because There's some, um, I don't know, some things got to go. All right. And that could be emotionally. There's things we have to let go emotionally in order to move forward. All right. So let's see, Libra, let's, um, let's start pulling the cards for what I see happening next. Okay. Feel free to like, leave a comment, um, subscribe. So we're going to get into part two. I'm about to let you see the cards for that. And then um, in part two is, you know, where I see this energy heading next. Okay, what I see happening next. Um, and then we'll dive deep into that. Hopefully I don't take all day. Oh my gosh, I did Aquarius's extended, y'all. That extended was an hour long.
I was like, I got to go. <laughs> but that was a very deep um, reading. But yes, we'll dive deep. Hopefully it won't be that long, Libra. I don't know. We're going to dive deeper into this. We're going to see what your person wants this relationship to be with you in this lifetime. What do they think is going to happen? I'm going to pull the outcome I get at this point in time. I'm going to give you a timeline of forward movement. And then we're going to pull your advice in this situation. Okay, Libra. So continue watching if you're interested. Um, if this is where we part ways, Libra, I love you guys. Okay. I'll see some of you over on part two. The link is in the description, top of the comments. Be safe. Take it easy and enjoy your weekend or week, Libra. Peace.